Hello everybody. In this screencast, we're going to look at how to launch another activity for result where the second activity provides a result and that result is sent back to the initia initiating or the initial activity. All right, so our launcher app is the main activity. Okay. And its layout looks something like this. So basically, here is the main activity. Here it's layout. Basically, uh, this is the main activity. Let's just make sure that we have the right label. Let me check something here. So this is the main activity. This is the first activity or main activity. Main activity. And basically, the main activity has some text views and basically get user. So basically, it should go to the, when you click here, it should go to the second activity. And the second activity looks like this. Here it is where the user is able to enter the name and an email. And then when you click submit, we package the name and email in a user class. So here is a user object, right? Which we, or this is the user class. It implements realizable. It has a name, email, and basically we create a user and then we ship it back to the main activity. So I have most of the code done, but let's see. So here, how to launch another activity for result. So in order to do that, we need to create, register uh, an activity result or a launcher, right? So uh, this is the uh, boilerplate code. It's straightforward. It's activity. Uh, this is boilerplate code. If you need to do that, you need to uh, write this code. So activity result result launcher. Here it is. And it what it's going to return is an intent. And for example, you could say start uh, start uh, second activity for results. I know it's a little bit long name. If you want to call it something else, go for it. Uh, option enter, import class, the intent class. And then here you need to register activity for result. And then basically you see here the first part is a new um, activity result contract. All right, we'll do that. There is a factory for this. So new um, activity result contracts dot start activity for result and then the second part is uh, you see here the second part is the result activity callback okay so uh, new uh, result activity callback and here we go all right so here it is see here and what you're getting is a result okay so you're getting back a result that result you can extract from it uh, um, an intent and so on all right so now in order to get the result we'll come back to this okay let's go back to the second activity when you click <coughs> the cancel button we'll just say finish right so this cancel button just finishes uh, finishes the result basically it just finishes and if everything looks good, then what we need to do is we need to ship back the result. If everything looks good. So here we're checking to see if there is a name entered, there is an email entered and doing some kind of error checking. If everything is good, we create a, an instance of the user object. We create an intent. Intent here is basically as a bag equal new, uh, new uh, intent. So basically you see here, it's a new intent. And then we need to in inject into that intent a uh, the user, right? So basically what we will do is uh, intent dot put extra this is the key you call it user and then the value is user so basically here we are inserting serializable right so we have the intent set result you see here set result you give it the result uh, code and date so the result code is result okay okay here it is and then the data is a use is an intent okay and then you just finish so now basically when you say set result this activity was started for result or launched for result and then when it sets the results it's shipping back that intent back to whoever it started it and then finish just to to uh to dismiss this uh, activity now if we go back what happens is that when you finish and you go back or you set a result this method is going to get called okay and you get back the result now to extract the the value the user from the intent so basically usually what we do is we create a global variable so that we don't cause problems we do a static um, this is a static fi public final final string and we call it for example the user key right and it becomes user something like that mm -hmm. and we just instead of just using user here we just use the user key and that allows us to get the user key here so basically how do we do this we check check to see if result uh, get data is not equal to null right and is again boilerplate code and uh, result dot get data dot 
get string extra no get serializable extra um there it is and we can do second activity dot key you have to provide the key no is not equal to null all right so here it is one and then also we can check to see if the result is okay so result dot uh, get uh, get result code is equal to result okay mm -hmm. and so if it's okay else not okay we'll do something else so basically here we are able to do all of this then now we can get the user we say user user equals result dot get data dot get serializable here it is here it is and then also we can cast it or what we could do is we can pass the user dot class as an ob as a class here so now let's see what is happening here got this uh, oh yeah it needs a different version okay so i'm not going to use that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cast it cast it to a user all right here we are we're good we have the user we can do stuff here and maybe i can uh, display the user because you see here in the main activity there is a uh, there are text fields you know text field name and so on so i can display it so basically what i could do is i could say um text view name dot set text is user dot get name so i have the the name of the user i can display it and also i have the email of the user which i can also display oops sorry control z text view email and it is get email all right perfect so i can display the email of the user i can store the user also globally if i want i can have the user object stored here if i need it later so what i could do is i could do this something like this i can have the user object as a global object and we go something like this so basically user equal this so i can use this user later otherwise what i could do is i could just come back and say control c and i can clear the user so basically i could say user dot user equal to null right and uh, basically here i'm just gonna say not assigned not assigned and similarly here also not assigned not assigned okay cool so now we have all of that stuff done right so this is when the data comes back now how do you launch it to uh, when we click the submit button we create an intent intent where do we want to go uh, so new intent and i'm gonna do this context and class okay i'm gonna use an explicit content so what is the the uh, the context is the activity so it's main activity dot this main activity dot this and then where i want to go i want to go to the second activity dot class okay so that's here it is and then start not start activity i'm gonna use the launcher so here is the launcher that i have control c this is the launcher oops sorry what did i do okay control z let's say control c the launcher dot launch and you pass it the intent all right so we passed it the intent it will start it for result when the result comes back it will land into this block and then you can do some checks how do you send the result back basically you create an empty intent you see this is a new intent and then intent you put the extra you put the user inside it and you go from there now let's test this and see okay i'll run this and let's see so here it is here is the app mm. running devices here we are and if you look here the app is starting here it is you click on get user it opens up the second activity i will enter the name let's say bob uh, bob smith there is bob smith and then b at b.com all right and then i'm gonna click on submit so basically when i click on submit you see here bob smith is displayed on the on here if i click on get user okay and then i click on cancel it's being cleared get user some name here some email here click on submit and you're seeing them being displayed here is get user here it is a it's at it's the whatever okay and click on submit and it's being displayed so we did demonstrate how to go from the main activity uh, which is this one right and this is boilerplate code again so basically this code is really boilerplate meaning that uh, the ability to enter uh, the uh, this code is boilerplate all right and you see i didn't cut and paste because when i cut and paste there are things that need to be imported you just should use the autocomplete feature that is uh, being provided by the ide all right Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.